So this plasmid has two genes in it, the glowing protein gene from the jellyfish and the ampicillin resistant gene from a resistant strain of E. coli. We genetically engineered the plasmid. Now what you're about to do is put that plasmid into your organism and then we'll finish off the experiment and allow that organism now to reproduce and it's going to go from a white colony to a glowing green colony. You're going to put your two tubes in that boat and at the end of the 50 seconds you're going to take out your um, boat and you're going to shove your tubes back on the snow. So it's going from the snow into the hot tub back into the snow. <laughs> That's a heat shock. And what the heat shock does is it disrupts the membrane and allows the plasma to go inside. What the cold afterwards does, it closes the membrane back up. Leave some space, then LB amp positive, and then LB amp ARA. So you have, as Beyonce would tell you, the negative ones to the left, to the left. <laughs> and you have the positive ones to the right. Now you're probably going to ask the same question you asked after we finished the strawberry lab. What do we do with the DNA? Well now you see what we can do with the DNA. We can engineer it. So now you probably want to ask, well what are we going to do with these E. coli? Right? What we're going to do is next Wednesday, you're going to take a culture of these E. coli and you're going to put them in some Luria broth and you're going to create a huge culture of these glowing ones and then over the next subsequent three classes, you are going to purify the glowing protein. So now what we want to do is we want to examine these and see if not only, you, you already see that you're successful in inserting the resistant gene for ampicillin, you also want to see did you insert the gene from the jellyfish to see if they glow. <laughs> Who's the one in the middle? Katiba, way. <laughs> Mr. Bioengineer. <laughs> Who's the one closest to Rachel there? Uh, that one. Athena. Who's is that? Athena's? Yeah. Nice job, guys. That's a beautiful job. That's a lot of transformation. And each one of those colonies represents a successful transformation in one cell. And then that cell was going through binary fission and it's produced thousands, maybe even millions of cells in each of those colonies. A light show. <laughs>